Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Gladiator Brothers channel. I am Lorenzo. And this is Alex. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And we're very excited to show you guys a new product that we got. We're actually going to be reviewing it live with you guys. Uh, following here the gladiator brothers uh, YouTube channel and, and um, I can tell you one of the challenges that we have experienced through our, our time uh, exploring camping overlanding is uh, shelter yeah you know uh, we don't have a well, awnings. awnings we don't have any of that so as a result a lot of times yeah we we get ourselves under the rain but we found a way can what what can we get can, what can we implement Right. That is going to solve that issue. So uh, as you guys know, if you've seen the prior videos that we've done uh, when we travel, uh, Alex uses the rooftop tents, but I personally use with my family uh, gazelle tents, okay? And um, they are truly good, good quality. They're very simple to do. It takes literally 90 seconds for literally. you to set up the tent, right? Uh, it's pretty big. It's got a lot of space. Uh, if you guys go back to one of our videos mm -hmm. in the beginning when we were, I believe, in uh, I Georgia, think we were in Alabama, Georgia, Alabama, yep. Uh, we actually went into detail with uh, the Gazelle tent. Uh, it's one of my favorite. It's very easy to set up. And I can tell you something. I personally, even for me, that I have, I have experienced a rooftop tent. Sometimes I think back and I'm like, man, for 350 bucks. Yeah. It's, and then it's the cool a thing, huge. The cool, the, the cool yeah. thing is that usually Gazelle is always out launching new products, and you can find different deals that they're able to help you with. Okay, uh, but today's video mm -hmm. it's about one of their new products, right? So um, uh, we're very very excited to showcase this product. Okay, it's gonna be the uh, Gazelle Gazebo. Okay, and uh, we actually just stopped here in this beautiful site over here. We're in the middle of Central Florida, <laughs> and um, we're gonna set up right here. Uh, we're gonna actually unwrap it with you guys. We're gonna set it up, and you guys are going to be able to see everything and how easy it is, because that's one of the things yes. that I really wanna share with you guys. Gazelle, their products are so user-friendly. And I can tell you something. This guy right here. I get desperate really fast he gets, and I can't he, do it. He doesn't have patience. Yeah. And, he, and we were like, okay, what is the perfect product for this guy that doesn't have patience? And for any other one or any other person out there that doesn't have a lot of patience, that you don't like a lot of bolts. And, and honestly, the, the, yeah, Gazelle definitely solved the issue. Yeah, so um, uh, I personally love it. I personally love it. And um, so, so let's see. Let's, let's start yeah, opening let's uh, uh, the product and see what we got. All right. All right, guys, so one of the cool things that we got, uh, it's the tent footprint. Now, one thing I love about this footprint is for the gazebo is that it's actually very, very heavy duty and it's the same material as what the tents use in the bottom. So you have a double protection, which allows you in case it rains, in case it, there's any rocks, to avoid any rupture. So awesome, you should get it. And it is right great. here, as you guys can see, we also got the three pack uh, Gassen, uh, Gassel, I'm sorry, wind panels. Okay, so it fits all Gazebo models. That's pretty cool. They made a design that uh, gets it to every single person and it works for all of them, okay? And they also come in different colors. That's pretty cool also with uh, Gazelle. And the good thing too is that it will help you to be away from the wind whenever it is windy conditions or even rainy conditions. We also got the water resistant overlanding bag for the tent and for the gazebo. So we want to thank uh, our friends from Gazelle for sending this to us. Definitely I'll have Lorenzo explain a little more the reason why you should get this uh, bag if you don't have it, but uh, it will definitely solve a lot of issues for you. So example, uh, at least when you travel with the roof uh, racks, okay? And one thing is that the Gazelle tent won't fit lengthwise on the bed of uh, the Jeep Gladiator, okay? Remember, we have Jeep Gladiators. Yes. Now, if you put up the bed uh, door, it's gonna be tilted like that, right? So you, it actually, but here's the deal. You can actually fit it inside the car, sideways. But what if you're traveling with family like me? I usually travel with my, my daughters yes. when they come with us, right? 
And, and I can tell you that there, it doesn't have any space in the back after you set that up in the in, inside the car. And also having the, my nieces and our, and his daughters, it's just impossible to get it. So one very cool feature that they came out with, I actually when I when I reached out to myself, like you guys gotta get us something that covers water. They're like, we're on it. It's actually launching next month. So this is one of that uh, new launches that they have, which I personally love because when we travel, we have both racks right now. I only have the half rack, right? I mean, the, the, the roll cage, but we have the full rack on. So I'll be able to actually put my Gazelle tent on one side and my Gazelle gazebo on the other side with the water resistant bag and not be worried about getting wet when we travel outside because I have my daughters inside. And something that they did to be able to make it water resistant, you guys can see they tape all these different borders. And that's what allows the, the, the bag himself to be water resistant. And they were able to keep the cost down by doing that instead of just bringing crazy materials. So you still have the tent and your rooftop and tent. And it's pretty solid. Yeah. You guys can see here are the measurements for you guys to know and we got the four people gazebo five so it's a g5 which is the five-sided and it's technically for about four people five approximately instructions are very easy you can see it here look this is personally i love this 90 second is all it takes from back to fully assembled, right? We're taking a little bit longer here because we're going step by step with you guys so you can see it, right? But um, let's go ahead and get it out of the uh, of the box and um, let's set it up. Uh, when you open the bag, this is what it has, your pins, okay? So make sure that you use them right here. Look, very simple. All you gotta do is put them in the ground and that's it to ensure that if it's windy you hold the floor mat in place okay and then let's go ahead and open the actual gazebo love the color the color is amazing i don't deny there's some strange evolutionary all right so something that we noticed remember that guys we are learning as we go with the whole outdoor camping uh, setup and all that. So uh, it's actually easier for you to set up the Gazelle tent. It was pretty easy. Make sure that you know where the front of it is so that you don't have to go like we did and turn it around. Yep. But you saw it's just literally open it, right? Pull the side out, pull the other side out, go inside, push up, and it's set already. And then this is actually better to put it afterwards. Our rookie mistake, but that's part of being real here with you guys, okay? So you go inside, after you open it up. And, and the name, this is something I wanted to mention, the name, it's the front. So it makes it easy for you. So uh, one thing that you want to see also is that when you put uh, the floor mat inside the cover, you can lift it up here and it's going to sink right in with this to be able to put the pin and hold it and then cover it up. So that's pretty cool. How are you doing, Lorenzo? I'm good. Easy. Check this out, guys. So I'm about uh, five foot seven. And I can extend my arm completely. Check this out. It's pretty wide. So you can definitely fit a table in here. You can actually have some chairs. And uh, let me tell you, if, if a situation comes where somebody doesn't fit in your tent or something, you can use this because you put the wind breakers yeah, on the and, outside. And, and it works like a technical work, like a tent. You can definitely yeah. have uh, three, four, uh, two to four people Easy. sleeping here. Yeah, no problem. You can have two of the of the of the small single beds mm -hmm. sideways like this. I'm happy, man. It's pretty cool.
right, guys, so we have it all closed for you guys. This definitely will help mosquitoes to be out, but these zippers are great. I can tell you, I'm gonna show you everything that we can fit in. Come in. So we have two chairs, as you guys can see with no issues. We have our little kitchen with our plano case and then our water yard and then all the utensils right here. So we still have enough space to keep adding stuff. Now, for what we do, the overlanding, we definitely like the idea of keeping it small, keeping it practical. And as you guys can see, it works. All right, guys, so these are the wind panels. Now, today's a very hot day, so we definitely need the wind. We like it like this right now. It's nice and fresh inside. But if it was wind, it was rainy, we will use these little Velcros to actually attach all the panels. And we have a total of six, so it pretty much covered the whole thing. So in a rainy day, you will not have an issue because you will put it right on here. And then this little lip will pretty much cover the rain over. So great product, we're very happy, and it works well. All right, all right, guys. So you see how spacious it is, how simple it was to put up as you guys saw throughout the video, and all the perks and positive things that the Gazelle uh, Gazebo has, and also the Gazelle Tent, because it's a similar product, but with two totally different uses that you can combine together. I can tell you that some of the benefits that you guys will find is definitely the space. Also, the simplicity of how it builds, and also the practicality. Because we have found issues in the past running against the weather, rain, and I wish we had this. Last trip. Last trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so God. definitely uh, make sure that you uh, don't forget throughout the video or right now, comment, like, subscribe, turn the little bell on, leave us your comments. And um, you know, thank you Gazelle for this awesome uh, gazebo. We are definitely going to put it to use in all of our overlanding and camping trips uh, with the Gladiator Brothers yes. and our families. And I can tell you something, please, if you're new to the channel, again, subscribe, but we're gonna be posting out tons of videos on all the trips that we're gonna be doing this year. And this is gonna be coming with us everywhere. Peace out.